What's up YouTube, Nader690 here, and it's been a really long time since I made a video, but the uh, Apple TV 4 just uh, recently came out, and I was actually able to go to Best Buy the day before that it actually released in their stores and got them to sell me one, which was really cool. So I've been playing around with it for a while, and I'm sure if you guys are watching this video, you know about the uh, side loading of apps from GitHub into the Apple TV 4 through Xcode. And that's what this video is going to be about. I've noticed a lot of people have been having trouble with two in particular. Uh, Providence TV, people are having problems with the uh, provisioning of the uh, application and actually getting it to uh, fix that problem and then install onto the Apple TV. The other one is a tvOS browser. People are having problems with the availability.h uh, header file. Uh, editing that and getting the browser to install on their Apple TV. So I'm going to make two videos. This one is going to be uh, just uh, for the Providence TV and uh, so we'll start with that. What you will need if you don't already have it is a USB type A male to USB type C male USB cable and I can tell you that um, where I'm at um, no store sells them they, uh, they'll sell a USB Type-C male to USB Type-A female, which doesn't help us really at all. So what I did was is I bought the USB Type-C male to USB-A female and cut the USB Type-C off. And then I have, you know, a USB Type-A male to uh, micro USB. So I cut off the micro USB end and then just wired the type C together. And all you have to do to do that is just strip the wires back and then just match up the colors. And some of the uh, wires on the type C you're not going to use unless you're using uh, USB 3.0. I'm not, so I just uh, got rid of the other wires and it works perfectly for what I'm doing. Like, I don't need the type of speeds that... USB 3.0 gives to do what we're doing. So that's how I did that. Okay, so what you guys are going to want to do next is go to Safari. But before we do that, I just want to tell you, you're going to see me. I'm screen recording uh, or screen sharing to my Mac Pro that's in the other room. And I want to tell you that this computer that you're seeing right now is on El Capitan and it's running Xcode version 7.2 beta 2 and I am just running into too many problems trying to get this uh, to download the application from GitHub and then uh, do everything in Xcode it's just running slow and it's running into problems so if you're on El Capitan with Xcode 7.2 beta 2 I would suggest uninstalling the beta 2 version and then reinstalling Xcode 7.1 <clears throat> um, my Mac Pro is on Yosemite with 7.1 but I am going to assume that if you're on El Capitan with 7.1 you should be able to not run, run into the same problems that I was having and uh, be able to do this uh, just fine so now we'll switch over to my Mac Pro and it is uh, pretty glitchy right here but that's because I'm uh, screen sharing and also screen recording but these are the live uh, uh, screensavers from the Apple TV that I have installed on my Mac Pro. So if you want a video on how to do that, just let me know. But let's get back to this. So we'll go to Safari. We'll go to uh, GitHub. I'll put a link in the description or you can just type in Prominence TV GitHub. Go to this first link. If you don't see the URL down here, just click on Prominence, click HTTPS, and then copy the URL, and then we'll get rid of this because we don't need it, and then we'll open up Xcode, and we'll get rid of that. Go to Source Control, Check Out, and then paste that URL right here and click Next. You'll see the branches, click master, click next, download it to documents or the desktop, whichever you prefer or anywhere else you prefer. 
we'll replace this one so I'll be starting fresh and you guys can be doing the same thing that I'm doing and I'm doing the same thing you are and we can both do this together so we'll start fresh with this and once it downloads it should open up into Xcode and what you'll do here is go up to the scheme and go to Providence TV release and then uh, click on your Apple TV and what you'll see here is you'll get an error let's rebuild it so we can so we can see the error just like what you guys would see we'll give it just a second to do this and while it's doing this let me apologize if you guys hear the fans of my iMac screaming in the background this is a 07 model that I bought off Craigslist it was a base model and I upgraded the CPU to a core 2 extreme which I believe came in the uh, only in the uh, 24 inch models in that year this is a uh, uh, what the hell uh, 20 inch geez I'm sorry this is the 20 inch model but I upgraded the CPU, the RAM, and the hard drives, and I put in a SSD and then upgraded the regular hard drive. But uh, QuickTime makes my computer run, makes this iMac run hot. So if you hear the fans screaming in the background, I'm sorry about that. But back to this. Okay, we get this error, so we'll click Fix Issue. And on these accounts right here, it's just your Apple ID. It isn't a special Apple developer free account or anything like that. It's just your Apple ID. I'm sure you have one, but if you don't create one, go into Few Accounts, pick your Apple ID, and then it'll ask you to choose it. And then you'll get this error that says that this identifier is not available. Well, no problem. And if you don't get the screen, click on the error right there, and then click on the error right here. And then this bundle identifier, you can just go in here and change it to whatever you like just keep the com dot put whatever you want dot provenance and then we'll fix the issue it'll ask you to choose your Apple ID again so we'll do that and this is the error that everybody is having a problem with creating a provisioning profile requires one or more devices to be registered with your team well we don't have a team and we don't want to pay $99 and what other more popular videos are not telling you which I don't understand because they have to realize that there's going to be plenty of people out here watching these videos that have never used Xcode and have no idea just oh click 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 oh it's fixed now it's on your Apple TV well I have come to find that it doesn't work like that and after messing with it I've realized what you need to do is go over here to targets you don't want to be on prominence you want to be on the application prominence TV and then if we click fix the issue it's going to give you this identifier error again so if we go here we just delete this and then put in whatever you would like remember keeping the com dot whatever dot prominence TV and then you'll want to pick your Apple ID here again and then we'll click fix issue and now the issue is fixed make sure that you are Providence TV the issue will be fixed you'll still see the error up here but that will disappear once you click play you will see that it will build successfully build successfully it is now installing on the Apple TV and it is now running prominence on my Apple TV and once you get here pretty much all you need to do now is just uh, disconnect your Apple TV from your computer and reconnect it to your television out in your living room or wherever you have this device and you will see prominence on there and then just follow the rest to uh, uh, add ROMs. If you guys don't know how to add ROMs or you can't figure that out, let me know in the comments and I will be glad 
to make another video showing how to add ROMs to this device and to this application. Thank you for watching and I'll check you later.